Good morning. Welcome to DIY News. I'm Andy Klein and this just in. Two reasonably intelligent people have decided to build a catio or patio for cats attached to their house. The question of what might compel such an absurd and bizarre choice led one of our intrepid reporters to scratch out the truth. Hello, Andy. This is Andy here at the House of Andy and Family, where I am told that a soft launch of this very catio you can see to my left here is about to commence. But before it does, why don't we take a look back using interviews and some of the occupants' very own footage to find out what exactly led up to this fabled feline fiasco. Andy, can you tell our viewers why I decide to build a catio? Oh, well, sure, Andy. By the way, I love your reports. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> it's always great to meet a fan. <laughs> so we are really fortunate here at the Fables Farmhouse. We have a, a good amount of space around us, which we absolutely love. Right, right. But of course, with that natural space comes predators. And and predators are, of course, just, just doing their thing. They have babies to feed, too. You know, of course, we, we need predators. But do we really? Yes. Yeah, yes, we do, if you say so. But of course, our very domesticated cats are kind of like sitting ducks. <laughs> Good one. Thanks. <laughs> and so, of course, whenever they go out, we worry about them quite a bit. I see. And I understand that in the past, you have lost more than one or two chickens to coyotes. Yeah, yes, Andy, that is true. We, we have and bobcats. Yes, and I believe that we have an actual audio recording of a bobcat attack that occurred while you were working on a furniture fable. Uh, yes, that's correct. We do. Let's roll that exclusive footage. John! Wow, so the threat is real. Yes, and on top of all of that, we now know all about the devastating impact that domesticated cats can have on wild birds. Mm, all too true, Andy, although one does have to wonder about these cats. Yes, they, they are pretty soft. Right. But they really, really, really want to go outside especially one of them. It was then that this reporter received exclusive footage of one Panger Bon, Fable's farmhouse cat, and general pain in the ass about wanting to go outside. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, go on. I know, I'm sorry. Panger Bon. No, no. And so dreams of a safe outdoor space for the cats began to take shape. And once the entire Fables family was on board, this DIY catio began construction. Yes, this unassuming dirt patch that was apparently once home to some pretty nice azaleas that Andy let perish in the drought seemed like the perfect spot for the catio as Andy described it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not too big, it's not too small, and it's out of the way so that the neighbors can't see how nuts we are. So this is gonna be, what's this gonna be? What are you doing, John? Since the ground is un, uh, uneven, we're right. going into the ground here so our bottom piece can be level. So there, you're, okay, what are we doing? We're, we're digging a trench. Yeah, we're trying to make the ground level from here yeah. to that corner. Right, yeah, it's higher over here. And this is, a, it's a, obviously it's an uneven, curving little patch of, of ground, but the plans are square. The base of it's gonna be, be straight, right? It's gonna be a straight line right here mm -hmm. to the house. Right, and connect up over here. Right. Cool. This is so exciting. Here we go. That's what it's gonna really be. Nice oh, okay, here comes a long piece. Oh, 20 foot long. The head designer of the catio is Andy's eldest daughter, Franny, friend to all animals. Adorably, she and her dad also built the fable's well-known chicken run, upon which this catio's design is based. Yes, Andy, here you can see I am standing in front of the famous Fables Coop that has impressively held the line for the Fables flock since installation. 
thwarting any and all predators that have attempted to breach it. Andy, can you tell us what is happening here? Andy, what you are seeing here is called leveling, apparently an important part of building anything. Thank you, good to know. Andy, we seem to be seeing only two of the five Fables family members working on the catio. Be darn close. Any information as to the whereabouts of the others? Yes, Andy, apparently one daughter is claiming she needs to be out of town to, quote, attend college. <laughs> While the youngest daughter is claiming that she has, quote, volleyball practice and lots of laundry. Hmm, I see, Andy. And what of Andy? Good question, Andy. Andy has indeed left the scene of the catio build in order to go on over and do some set painting for a musical she is currently in. And yes, I think we may have some exclusive footage. Well, the catio looks like it's in good hands. They are laying the foundation and they're figuring out the roof line. That's kind of a big issue with this spot. They're going to need to kind of tie in to the existing roof a little bit. So I think I am actually going to just run on over and help with some set painting for Mary Poppins. I'm hoping my painting skills are up to stuff. Do you, do you, I think this is it. Andy, can you help us out? What are we seeing here? Well, Andy, apparently this is what it looks like to fold a theater backdrop on a windy day. Hmm, fascinating. Can we check back on the progress of the catio? Yes, I believe we do have footage of Andy returning from set painting. Wow, look at all the progress you made. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's incredible. Wow. Andy, can you tell us what are the dogs thinking? <laughs> well, Andy, they seem happy about things, although one must wonder about what they truly feel, seeing so much time and energy being spent on their feline sisters. Yes, that must be rough for them. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, rough for them? It must be rough for them, rough? Huh? Uh, it, it's just a little joke. I don't get it. No? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. Forget it. <clears throat> I don't. I, I don't really get it. But <laughs> look at that. This is for you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I know. Oh my goodness. You ready to go check it out, aren't you, Tinkerbell? I think that it is not nearly big enough. I would like it larger, please. See, this is why we need a catio. One, two, three cats. It's ridiculous. Why do we have three cats? Because I am a fool, that's why. Andy, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is sounding like Andy is claiming responsibility for the fact that the family has three cats. Any follow-up there? Yes, Andy. Andy did share with us some exclusive and heartwarming footage that shed some light on the three cat situation. Hi, good evening. Okay, y'all sitting down? Yep. Mom says this is no big deal, so... Look forward, we're going to do which hand. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to keep, yeah, keep your eyes closed, just for a sec, and then we get in the right spot, we get in the right spot, eyes shut. Pretend. 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 I knew it, Mom! I knew it. What the heck is oh this? Why is Pinkabon? Why is 
Twins. Why is Kent's our Twins Kingdom forever? Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, <laughs> but we have because of allergies. And we have tons of chickens and two dogs. Wait, they're sisters? Apparently overcome by the almost terminal cuteness of these three kittens, Andy and her extremely tolerant husband were powerless against the power of the three. Feline and human, am I right? <laughs> yes, Andy, you are right. <laughs> yes, I am. Andy, it is looking like we are in the home stretch. The final touches are being added, including quite a bit of chicken wire, while the excitement is building inside the Fables farmhouse. It's very exciting. We are about to do the grand opening of the catio. It's not completely tricked out, and we're gonna open the window here in a sec. We don't have our official cat door either, but we're just gonna open the window. Yes, it is just about time for the launch, and yes, we are seeing some movement inside the house. That's correct. And oh, oh, we have window movement. The window is moving. The window is open, the catio is officially launched, and a cat is in the catio. Reports have been confirmed it is the one and only Panger Bon, again, voted most likely to be a jerk about trying to get outside. Oh, all of that hard work and expense, the family must be absolutely overcome with joy. Andy, she appears to be exploring the catio almost as if she is curious is that normal cat behavior? Yes, Andy, we can in fact confirm that curiosity is a normal attribute for cats. There does appear to be a second cat, Andy. I believe that this is Henna, the fussiest and chubbiest of the three. Henna, Henna has entered the cat. Henna is in the cat. This is very exciting stuff here, folks. Two cats have entered the catio. A second cat, a second cat has entered the catio. I suppose the question burning in everyone's mind is, what about that third cat? We have a third cat approaching. The third cat is in. The third cat. The third cat is in. All right, folks, the third cat has entered the catio. Yes, Andy, we can confirm that is correct. We have three cats, three cats in the catio currently. We have a three cat catio, it is confirmed. Incredible, absolutely incredible footage, Andy. This is so exciting. This is so exciting and to be here watching this live. Andy, it's looking to us like there are some things inside the catio. What can you tell us about that? Yes, Andy, you may be able to tell that there is indeed a cat tree inside of the catio. That cat tree that the cats know so well will provide an element of familiarity, helping them to become quickly accustomed to the catio. You may also be able to see that there are some hanging plants and some ferns there on the ground. That is just for aesthetic purposes for the time being, so that the humans think that it looks pretty. We can confirm, however, that there are future plans for more climbing structures, maybe a fountain or two, and cat hammocks. Andy, does the Furniture Fables family have any final thoughts? Yes, Andy, I was able to catch up with John, husband and father of the Fables family. Sir, can you tell us why did you build this catio? Because my wife wanted it. Well, there you go, Andy, sending it back on over to you. Sounds like a smart man to me. Yes, and easy on the eyes. Yes, yes, I concur. I did also ask John about the already rumored part two of the catio. Several people have been overheard discussing potential plans to expand the structure using tunnels and such, almost like a hamster's maze that spans over the entire property. When I asked John to comment about this rumored hamster cat maze, his only on the record response was no comment. However, he was overheard later saying off the record something to the effect of no way andy mm, 
All right. Well, thank you very much, Andy, for your excellent reporting. Folks, that's going to just about do it for us. Oh, wait, wait one minute. I'm getting breaking, breaking news. Yes, this just in. Apparently, yes, yes. Apparently a catio window door has now been installed. Yes, that's right, you heard it here first. A catio window pet door has been installed, which will apparently allow the cats to come and go as they please, while also keeping out the flies. What will they think of next? I'm Andy Klein. On behalf of the entire Furniture Fables family, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this fuzzy, furry, feline family fable. Remember, with a catio like that, Everybody wants to be a cat. Have a great rest of your weekend. That was a good one, huh? I hope you hope you don't get scratched up. No. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. The cat's out of the bag. A catio is cool. That's good. I like that one. If we only all had nine lives. Don't get too scratched. Uh, don't scratch. Furball? Furballs? No, ooh, that's not good. Uh, it's a whiskery world not a whiskery world, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, cat of a different color. No, that's the horse thing. Have a great rest of your weekend. I hope it's not too rough. <laughs>